In this question, potential at the point x, y, z is given by this expression. This is given. We have to find the force experienced by a charge 2 column placed at the point 1, 1, 1. So this question is similar to a question that had come in 2009. But in this question, you have to do two more steps. So it's a bit more complicated than that question. So we have to find the force on this charge at this point. So force on the charge, which formula? One is Coulomb's law, but which is for point charges. Here, this charge is a point charge, but the other charge is not given. So Coulomb's law cannot be applied here. Next, it should come to our mind that there is another formula which is formula number 8 which is F equal to Q into E force on a charge placed in an electric field right now Coulomb's law and this formula these are the only two formulas which gives us a force on a charge so since Coulomb's law cannot be applied here so we have to apply this formula here so that means we have to find electric field at this point. So we can do it. How? By formula number 5. Which is formula number 5? E equal to minus dV by dr. So here potential is given. So from there first we will find the electric field. With that electric field we will multiply the charge. So we will get the force. Understood the process? So if you can find the electric field from here, pause this video and proceed. Otherwise, watch this video. Okay? See, to find the electric field, we know the x component of the electric field is given by minus partial differentiation of this with respect to x. So when we do partial differentiation, this will become 6. This will become y is a constant here so this will become minus 8y this is y is a constant so this becomes 0 y and z are constants so this becomes 0 so that is this much is the ex so if I write it in vector form this is i cap okay I have explained the partial differentiation in details in the video of the 2009 question so if you are finding it difficult just refer to that video it is already uploaded on the YouTube okay similarly EY will be minus partial differentiation of this with respect to Y so this becomes 0 this becomes there is Y so this will become 1 so it will become minus 8x this will become minus 8 this will become plus 6z so this will be j cap okay now ez will be minus of we differentiate this with respect to z so this becomes 0 there is no z here there is no z here this becomes 0 no z here this becomes 0 so only z is here so this becomes 6y so this is k cap okay now this is a general expression for the components of the electric field at the point x y z we want it at the point 1 1 1 so you substitute 1 for y so this becomes minus 8 so this becomes minus 2 so that is plus 2 so this becomes 2 i cap here if we substitute 1 and 1 this will be this will become minus 16 plus 6 so this is minus 10 so that means 10 j cap if we substitute 1 here this becomes 6 so this is minus 6 k cap Okay, that means the electric field at point 111 is 
to i cap plus 10 j cap minus 6 k cap okay so this is in vector form so it is like this so the magnitude of the electric field at the point 111 will be square root of 2 square plus 10 square plus 6 square or you can say minus 6 square so this is 4 this is 36 so 40 100 to square root of 140 okay so this will be 2 root 35 clear so this is the magnitude of the electric field at the point 111 so the required force the magnitude of it will be 2 into this so 2 into 2 root 35 that is 4 root 35 so if you see the options this is option d see if you compare this question with the question of 2009 you will see that here we have to find the electric field at a particular point that is not difficult we just substitute the values of x y and z here then we have to find the magnitude of the force so for this electric field at that point we calculated the magnitude of the electric field so with that we multiply it with the charge so we got the force experienced by the two column charge that is the answer okay